wasn't part of a dream. Uh-uh. I never could understand how a broken woman dreams could lead to prostitution, solicity, doing schemes. Man. What stuff she should have do, her life would never last. No. Her future history, she's living in the past. Hey, what it do, world? It's another sit down at Studio Plug Memphis. And today I got my guy with me that goes by Tony T. Tony T. Tony T. Tony T. In the building. The real Tony T. Matter of fact, man. I'm your guy, Track Addict. This is Sit Down the Studio Plug Memphis with Tony T. What's up, Tony T? What it do? What it do? Man, dope, man. Glad to have you here, man. Sit down on the, the couch at Studio Plug Memphis for the sit down, man. Yes, sir. Man, first, man, talk to me about that shirt, man. Stop po police brutality. I like that, man. I like that. Man, stop police brutality, you know what I'm saying? Um, inspired by, you know, this is inspiration. A shirt I had to get, man, for uh, Tyree Nipples. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know. Inspired by brothers getting killed for no reason, man. Y'all stop doing that out here, man. We not with it, man. Yeah, stop police brutality, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, killing the unarmed man. You know what I'm talking about? That's why I got this shirt on. Rest in peace, Tyree Nickel. Man, rest in peace for sure. And everybody else we lost, too. He ain't the only one, man. Yes, sir. Salute to you for that, man. Having a message in your calls, man. I appreciate that, man. So let's start with the first, man. Tony T. Why that name, man? Talk Tony, to me. Tony T. Um, basically, I got that name. Um, you know, my mom and dad, they call me Tony. And um, my dad and my father used to call me Tiger. So, uh, you know, growing up as a kid, no, um, Frosty Flakes, Tony the Tiger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of, you know, put that together. You know, Tony, put the T in the end. You know what I'm saying? So T stands for Tiger. You know what I'm saying? Dope, 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 yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So, man, you do music, right? Yes, sir. Man, how long you been doing music? Man, I've been doing it, man, for a long time, man. Since the 90s, man. Might, have, might be telling my age on this. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. For about 20, 30 years, at yeah, least. Yeah, very long, very long. Dope, dope, man. So what made you start wanting to do music? Man, um, you know, basically I was motivated by my brother. You know, I used to watch my brother um, writing raps, you know what I'm saying? Rapping and stuff like this. So, you know, I wanted to learn. So he was in and out of jail. So I started practicing, writing, rehearsing, doing like that. And, you know, it is what it is. You know what dope, man? dope. Yeah. That's what's up, man. So where are you originally from? You know, um, you know, I'm kind of copying between a hard rock. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I was born in Memphis, but um, I was raised in Collierville up to about like 16 years old. Okay. And okay. Then after that, I moved back to Memphis. You know what I'm saying? So whoever wanna, whoever wanna climb it, Collierville to Memphis, Memphis Collierville, <laughs> here where it is. Yeah, man, that's dope. That's dope, man. You know, I am. I ain't even know about Collierville till about. Eight years ago, bro. I swear <laughs> that play just popped up off the map. Like, I ain't even know about that my whole life growing up, man. Yeah, yeah. But, hey, shout out to Kyville, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yes, sir. C-Town. Right, right. So let me ask you this, man. I did a little research, man. I heard Stan Bell call you the legend of the roll call. <laughs> Talk to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, um, it was a thing called, um, called a roll call back in the day. And, um... You know, I was young bug in school. And um like every night they had a thing called a roll call where you call It's the roll call. It's the, the roll call. call. Hey. Yeah. Y'all yeah. remember that, man. Yeah, basically, um, long story short, man, I was real consistent on it. I probably wasn't the best, but I was consistent on rapping on it. And um, you know, I made a little name for myself and um so Stan Bell, he started calling me Legend of the Roll Call. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, yeah. shout out to Stan Bell, another Memphis yes, music pioneer and legend, man. Stan Bell, You know what I'm saying? Up, come, on, uh, come on to sit down, Stan Bell. We'd be glad to have you, man. I know you got a lot of a lot of stuff to talk about. <laughs> so, yeah, man, that's dope. The roll call, that was major. I remember that whole time, man. You know what I'm saying? That was kind of like the early social media days. I don't even know if it was social media, but it was the early days. Uh, so, it was like that was the first outlet we had where, like, we could – Hear ourselves on the radio, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that was major. So yeah, you yeah. was the legend of the roll call. Legend of the roll Stan call. Stan Bear gave you that. Coin yeah. that. Coin That's that. dope. Yeah. That's dope, man. Do you remember if you was freestyling? Was you writing your verses for the man? For the you roll know, call? freestyling, uh, write my verses. You know, depends on depends on the situation. If I call in in time, stuff like that. Yeah. Whatever. Got you. Got you, man. That's dope. That's dope. So tell me about PLS Records. Pill this records, you know what I'm saying? This player lifestyle, um, 
originated by um, my partner, um, my old producer, Shouty, and um, my partner, Nick. Um, it was three of us starting off. Um, both of them passed away. Shouty um, passed away in 99. My partner, um, Nick, he passed away in um, 2003 um, from diabetes. Um, it was three of us, man. I'm the last one standing, man, but um, I got to keep it moving. For all those pills, let's rev a player lifestyle. And also, um, the user suspect, we um, had D, um, Big Baby, and Hot Rod. You know what I'm saying? They they peer this record family, too. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Call you it. Hey, man. Dope, man. Definitely sending my condolences to them two lost brothers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's with the PLS records. You know what I'm saying? Uh, gone too quick. So, let me ask you this, man. What was life like growing up? I know you you know it's a lot going on. You synced a lot, man, with your father. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what you done seen, man. Man. With life going on, you know, you know, we just um uh, just an everyday thing, man. Um, I seen my father seen my father get shot um on two different occasions. Really? I, yeah, I was like um about six years old. We was coming from church and um I seen his um one of his so called best friends shoot him at the store. You know what I'm saying? Shot him in the face. Mm. And um he survived it though. Then I was like, um, when I was like 12 years old, I seen my father get shot by the police, Kyville Police Department. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, they kind of did something to me, but, you know. What they, what they shot him for? Um, they shot him, uh, you know, it was an altercation at the house where uh, he was burning down the house. So he, he, he come off the porch. He come off the porch with like a, a stick. And um, he was he was like walking back towards my mom's car, you know, finna bust out the wonders and stuff like that. And, um, you know, as he started swinging towards the car, you know, they unload on the shot. Mm. Yeah, but, you know, he, he survived. Yeah, he survived it, too. Yeah, you know. God bless. Yeah. That's a crazy story, man. I ain't even gonna get into what what happened to make him be like that. Like, where, where that came from? We're gonna say that for another day, man. Yeah, man, you know. That's major, man. I'm glad he's still here, man. That's another reason why we need to stop police brutality. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure they could have, if he ain't had nothing but a stick, I'm sure they could have did something besides shoot that man, right? Nah, yeah, you know, actually, he's, he passed away now. He's been passed away about, about about eight years now. Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah. What do you call your music style? Man, my music style is just basically just me being me, man. It just really ain't no style, you know. I might wake up feeling like this. I might wake up feeling like this. I might want to write this. You know, uh, I basically go off like my mood, gotcha, how I gotcha. feel. You know, so you kind of like let the song make itself by by wherever your brain go. Yeah, it'd be organic. You know what yeah. Whatever you inspired by at that that moment. Yeah, everything authentic, man. You know, I just go with the flow. Um, listen to the beat, how I'm feeling that day. You know, that's dope. That's, that's dope. dope. Yeah. Hey, man. So look. So before we get into the rest of the show, we on to sit down at Studio Plug Memphis. I like to always ask my guests, if you can go anywhere in the world right now, where would you go, right? So I want you to tell me where you would go, and then clap your hands three times, and I'm going to take you there, right on the couch. Man, that's a good question, man. Good question. Um, You know, a lot of people might say California, Bahamas, Atlanta, um, you know, stuff like that, et cetera, whatever. Um... If it's a heaven, you know, I want to go to heaven. If it is a heaven, so, you know. Yo, we here. You want to go to heaven, bro? This is what heaven looked like, allegedly. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we back once again. It's Trek Addict with the sit down and studio plug Memphis. I got my guy here, Tony T. Yeah, yes, man. sir. So, Tony, man, I know you lost a partner, man. Name Chris. Tell me about this story with Chris. Yeah, um, lost my partner Chris in um in '99. Yeah, he got killed. Um, you know that was a hard one, man. Um, situation on it. Um, he got killed the same way he he thought he was gonna die. Um, he wanted me uh to come high level mm -hmm. one morning, but um before before that. He wanted me to get a, a gun for him, cause you know I. What was going on? Well, you know him and his uncle had um had got into some stuff. He never did really go into detail with mm -hmm. it. 
And um, so he wanted me to get a gun for him, you know. And uh, so I told him I check up on it for him. Well, he ended up getting his own. Okay. He ended up getting his own. So, like, one morning, I had seen him. He was finna get ready to head to work. You know what I'm saying? And um, he told me to come hot at him. You know, when I get up. So, as, 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 um, after he get out of work, he told me to come hot at him. Yeah. When I get up. So, um, but as I woke up, I get a knock at the door. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me, um, you know, Tony, um, your partner Chris got killed. Like now, before you heard that, did he say anything to you that would have made you thought something was going on? Like, other than him needing a gun? Like, did he say anything why or, or anything like he thought was going to happen to him? Well, um, what it was, he told me that um, he told me that him and his uncle was in the box in the situation. No okay. Like I said, he never did go into detail on what the situation what it was. was. But he, he like, man, he like he need a gun. And he said, he said, man, these guys, they might kick in the door at any time. So he told you that before, before, before anything happened. happened. Before anything happened, he's like, man, these guys might kick in and do it any time. So I like straight, you know, I get you something. Before, you know, be, um, before I was able to get him a gun, he got his own gun. Yeah. So um, like I said, I had woke up, knocked from the door. Somebody like, Tony, man, you, um, your partner Chris got killed. He got mm. killed in the apartments. So I went around to check on him, went to the apartment. When I get there, the newscast, news people are already there. Channel 13 or something. They are already there. I see him lying in the breezeway. I see another guy. He did. Well, I see him lying, laying down up in um, the front door. I mm -hmm. see another guy laying down in the breezeway. So, come to find out, some guys actually kicked in his door. Mm -hmm. And he got killed. He managed to kill one of the guys, but one of the guys got away. But, um, you know, it's wow. like, you know, he already pre-seen what, what was going to happen. Man, so he told you that, you know, it was a good possibility of somebody kicking his door and it happened. Yeah. Happened it exactly the way he said it was. Man, rest in peace to Chris, man. That's a sad story, man. Yeah, play a You know what I'm saying? Play. So did they ever find out anything else about it? Like what happened? Who did it? Man, I did my knowledge. Never did. So, man, we need to know what happened to Chris, man. You know what I'm saying? We got a, a story right here that's, that we don't even know the ending of the story yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, the killer's still out here. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely, you know what I'm saying? If y'all got any information, we need to know what happened to Chris. That's crazy, man. So, rest in peace to Chris, man. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. That's that's crazy. Appreciate that. Rest in peace to Chris. Chris Ward. Chris Ward? Christopher Ward, yeah. Got you, man. Got you, man. So let me ask you this, you being a music artist, what are some artists that you listen to? Man, you know, I listen to a lot of a lot of Memphis artists, you know, um, yeah. West Coast, East Coast. No it really don't matter. I don't have a just a, I got a mixed selection of them. You know, I don't really wanna call no names out like that. You know what okay. I'm saying? No, a lot of these rappers out here a lot of these rappers out here look sensitive, so I don't wanna say your name. Cause I don't want you to say my name. They just talking about positive stuff. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> well, you if you listen to them, that's positive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me ask you this: If you could pick one person to work with in music, who would you pick and why? Man, you know, to be honest, man, the, the person I want to work with, he dead. Really? Tupac. Tupac, the yeah. greatest of all time. Great as our time to go, man. You know, he did, man. So, don't look like that never happened. Well, man, speaking of that, bro, what do you think about them just now, like, finally solving his murder? Have you heard about that? Man, yeah, I heard about it. Um, To me, man, it's like, um, ain't nothing but a soap opera, man. Yeah. They signed it 27 years ago. They been to what was going on. Um... To me, it's politics. Mm -hmm. You know, they they side everything else, but they can side it. It took that long. Well, they um, saying the reason they finally did it was because he incriminated himself. He started incriminating himself after so many years after it happened. You're talking you about Keefe, right? Keefe, yeah, Keefe D. They say he started. You know, not only he wrote a book about it, yeah. but then he started doing a lot of interviews, like one with DJ Vlad. 
where he talks about some stuff and they saying that stuff that he talked about is potentially yeah, but you know, what got um, him indicted. Yeah, sorry about that. He incriminated himself 27 years ago when he made that state. Yeah. When, um, from my knowledge, from, from, from him speaking, he, he made this same, um, uh, incriminated evidence back then, but yeah. they made an agreement with him. Mm -hmm. But what it is, you, you in two different areas. You made a you made an agreement arrangement in, in California, but you mm -hmm. did a crime in Las Vegas. Yeah, man, come on, man. You played yourself, man. Right, right, right. You played yourself, Keith. <laughs> Your top five rappers dead or alive? Man, that's a hard one, man. Um, you know, I gotta go with um, I gotta go with um, Tupac. I got Dan Mix. Dan Mix. Rough Riders. <laughs> yeah, that's how Rough Riders roll. <laughs> yeah, I got damn mix. I got, um, man, that's a hard one. Three more. I put Snoop in there. Okay, okay. Yeah, Tupac, Snoop, yeah, he, he, DMX. Yeah, Snoop laid back, you know. Yeah. I like his style. I can't lie, I like his style. You know what I'm saying? Um, Need two more. I got to put Big in there. Big? Okay. That's another all time great. Yeah, I gotta put big in. Last spot on the on the top five. Who you going with? Man. Well, I was consistent. I gotta put Drake in there. Drake. Yeah, I gotta put Drake in there. Okay, okay. Y'all yeah. heard it here, man. Tony T. Top five dead alive, man. Do you got any current music or videos out that people can go check out? Yeah, I got some stuff on YouTube. You go check it on YouTube. Um matter of fact, I got it on um, give a plug Memphis. Up on his um, new track I'm finna work on. Yeah. It'll be out real soon, hopefully about a week, week or two. Okay, let's um, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> real soon. Um, man, check me out on YouTube, man. You know what? I can't lie, man. I don't do no social media. I don't got no Facebook, Instagram. Check me out on YouTube, man. Um, You know, I kind of stay away from that police stuff, man. Yeah. But, um, you know, I guess I got to break away from it and... and Get into it, but like I said, I don't got no Facebook, no Instagram. Like it's kind of hard to check up with me. You know, the streets gonna talk. Yeah. Word of mouth. I grew up in a time where it's word of mouth, and uh, it's gonna get back to me. You wanna holler at me? It's gonna get back to me. You know what I'm saying? The streets gonna talk. So for the fans, they gotta hit the YouTube. Yeah, hit the YouTube. Hit the What's YouTube. the YouTube? On uh, the real Tony T. The real Tony T. On the real Tony T. There you it know, is. I've been doing this man since the nineties. Um, you know. It's real street stuff on my end. Um, all the YouTube stuff, I had to, I had to come to it, and and I've been saying it's a lot of fake Tony T's on there. You know what I'm saying? But people that know me, you know, I'm the real Tony T. I've been doing this since the '90s, man. But uh, what 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 I gotta do is dirty up my name. I think I gotta dirty up my name to make them don't want their name no more. You know what I'm saying? I gotta claim it was mine. I'm the real Tony T. You did. <laughs> Straight like that, man. Tony yeah. T here for the sit down at the studio plug Memphis, man. Y'all better tap in with Tony T, man. Yeah. Stop playing. What do you think about the current state of Memphis and how we impacting the music culture? Man, I just threw the memes up. Man, Memphis, man. The crime rate is just at an all time high. It, it's just getting more exposed. Mm -hmm. It's been going on, though. You know, yeah. Yeah, it ain't nothing new. You know, living in Memphis, man. When you hear gunshots, man, it's just like hearing birds, man. Yeah. Every day, you know, you get used to it. Yeah. You get numb to it. But um, I like to say this though. Um, it's politics. Um, I encourage everybody to vote. Get these city councilmen out out the way. They stealing money every time they every time they come up with a new law or bill. They want to say it's for the kids. It's for, mm -hmm. it's for the elderly, but they still the money. And, and you want to take it to another level, you got to blame Governor Lee. You know, um, for for um, passing law, for passing um, gun laws to get guns at 18. That's ridiculous. Knowing that Memphis is a high crime area. Right. And you passing laws for these minors to, to, um, to get guns. And to carry them, right? Come on, man. This, this just... You don't even need a gun pe gun permit no more, do you? Nah, just just walk in, um, do a background check, and, and come out with the AR. Yeah.
Memphis at all time high, man. We know one of everything now. Basketball, crime, <laughs> everything. Yeah. yeah. And rap music too, you dig, you know what I'm saying? Your greatest and latest from hip hop from right here from the M, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Memphis Music, man. Is there any local artist that you've been watching that you would love to work with? Man, you know what? I love to work with um, all members artists. You know, whoever want to work with me. Um, I don't pick no sides. Um, you know what I'm saying? For people that know what I'm talking about, I don't pick no sides. Um, you want to work with me, I work with you. Vice versa. Yeah, but you know, as um, far as did. I just can't call no names out. Whoever we'll written work with, I work with you. Let's get it. Straight like that. Stand up. Down to work with anybody, man. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you this. What can we expect from Tony T in the next year? In the next year, um, new music. Um, got new music on the way. I'm also going to be working on a little movie. You know what I'm oh yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna be working on a little movie. You acting? Well, you know, um I'm not acting, I'm, I'm writing. You writing the movie, yeah, okay. I'm writing the writing, you know. So um I'm gonna have to get somebody to play a little Tony T. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, that's my that's my goal. Yeah. Okay, okay. Why well, hey, we shoot movies too at Studio Plug Memphis, so you know what I'm saying? Your one stop shop. Check out Studio Plug Memphis, man. Man, check out Tony T on YouTube, man. Y'all get familiar with Tony T, the real Tony T. The real Tony T. Not them fake jabronis, man. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, man. <laughs> so, man, what else you want to say? You got any shout outs, anything else you want the fans to know? Man, most definitely. Um, I want to send a shout out to whole Memphis. Um, Kyrie, Kyrie, Memphis, however you want to put it, whoever climbing. Um, I want to say, um, rest in peace to, um, my cousin Oscar Mann, um, um, Jermaine Allen, um, Coco, Johnny, Boo Boo, um, Shawty, Nick, Chris, um, Big Will, um, my cousin Nick McCray just passed away, um, Kyrieville legend, um, Tennessee Vaughn legend, WNBA legend, rest in peace Nick McCray, um, Rest in peace to my father. Um, I want I want to say um, you know. I knew I was a man once I realized that my father wasn't perfect, and I, I realized that um, you know, you gotta live through your imperfections. Mm -hmm. So that's when I realized that I was a man once I could understand and accept his imperfections. Yeah. So it is what it. Rest in peace, to everybody. Man. Um, Kyrieville, Memphis, stand up. I'm the real Tony T, you dig? This is the sit down at Studio Plug Memphis with Tony T. Tony T, before we get out of here, man, tell them where to find you again on YouTube, just so they know. Man, the real Tony T at YouTube. Straight like that. Once again, it's Tony T in the building. This is the sit down at Studio Plug Memphis. Y'all tap in, hit that like button, that subscribe button, man. We're going up. Cheers!